Hey guys, Kiss Kerala here. As per your request, I'm making an update video of Pixel Experience ROM for Pocophone F1 or Poco F1. So before starting this video, if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to this and click on bell button to get notified. So let's get started. The Pixel Experience ROM is one of the most popular aftermarket firmware available for Pocophone F1 till date, which aims to provide a Google Pixel experience for Pocophone F1. I mean, seriously, if you're not able to afford Google Pixel smartphone, then buy a phone with high tire processor and install Pixel ROM onto it to transform your phone into a Google Pixel device. Personally, on Pocophone F1, I detest using a MIUI as a daily driver. When I first bought my Pocophone F1, instantly I started tinkering for custom ROMs, and this is the first custom ROM which I came across. From then, I'm very, very much much fancier about custom ROMs. So Pixel ROM is currently one of the most popular stable custom ROM which is an extent. Today in this video I am going to talk about everything about this ROM so let's do this. Alrighty then, so let me quickly jump onto the about system and show you the bill number which I'm currently using. So it is a 2019020-2051. If I click on Android version, you can see it is having a latest security patch level which is awesome. And also you can see uh, this ROM uses a DARP kernel as a default kernel. So as usual, I'm going to talk about features, performance and battery life. But before that, how do you install it on your device? Well, you need to have an unlocked bootloader, a TWRP custom recovery installed, then boot into the TWRP recovery, wipe system, Delvic data and cache, then flash a pixel ROM. If you're coming from stable MIUI 10.2.2 or any other custom ROM like Lineage OS or Resurrection Remix or any other custom ROM, you need to first flash a developer ROM vendor on firmware which is currently 9.1.24 to prevent causing error 7 issue. So then after that you can flash pixel ROM. All of the links will be available in the description down below. That being said, let's talk about features. By default, you will get Pixel 3 Launcher, which is absolutely super fast. From app launching to everything, it's snappy. I personally very much fancy about the app transitions, which is super refined in Android Pie. Just look at this cool animation, which you would get while launching applications. When it comes to advanced features, this is where a Pixel ROM flunks a little bit. I mean, if you compare it with a Resurrection Remix, Havoc OS, and Nitrogen OS, it is sort of murky. Of course, the dark theme is available inside settings under display. Previously, this feature was broken and it's not working as intended. And finally, with the latest stable release, we got to see a dark theme working throughout the system without any issue. When it comes to camera, this is the biggest feature of Pixel ROM. It has the latest version of Google Camera which is pre-installed by default and guess what it takes stunning pictures and videos I mean better than stock MIUI camera so I try to shoot some of the pictures with the help of the pixel camera and it is really super cool And finally, normal features like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, LTE, VoLTE, Dual LTE, Wi-Fi hotspot, fingerprints, IR cameras, face unlock, custom kernels, UPI applications does work fine. I tried a Google Pay, a Phone Pay, and yes, it is working without any issues. I did also run a safety net check and you can see it's passed the test. Overall, when it comes to features, Pixel ROM provides a minimalistic Android Pie experience and it's super fast. That being said, let's talk about performance. Definitely, this ROM is amazing. and it provides a smoother Android experience throughout the system. Thanks to the developer, this build is much optimized to get a most out of the silicon. From app launching to routine tasks, it is super fast. I mean, if you're looking for phenomenal, smooth and pure Android experience, then definitely this ROM standard for your expectations. When it comes to big games like PUBG, Asphalt Land Legends or a Need for Speed or any kind of game, you will love the performance. I have played a PUBG at ultra high settings in HDR mode and it's simply super smooth. There is a no lag or stutter or even any frame drops which I have encountered. The gameplay was super smooth and the same thing goes with the Asphalt 9 Legends. As usual, I ran a benchmarking applications like Geekbench and Tutu and these are the scores which I got on my Pocophone F1. Overall, I would say definitely the performance is improved a lot. 
Finally, at last, the battery life. Well, the battery life is amazing. My screen on time usage, which I get on daily basis, like around eight plus hours with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, location services turned on. For a fair and minimal usage, this ROM helps to survive the whole day without any issues. As I told you, I have played the PUBG for 36 minutes and the battery consumption was around a 7%. And yes, at this time, I want a chicken dinner. So comment down below, winner, winner, chicken dinner. So the bottom line of the video, definitely this ROM is super stable and very much optimized to the hardware to get the most out of the silicon. Yes, anyone can use it as a daily driver without worrying anything. All of the features works fine. If in case I have missed anything in this video, you can ask me in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button down there. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and consider clicking on bell button to get notified. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching. This is KS Karayol. Peace.